Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Now I'm back with you for a special edition of deceased loved ones' messages from the Love Edition. So these are going to be specifically for people who passed over who are in a love relationship and want to express whatever they need to express. So make sure you give this a thumbs up so it goes to other people who need to hear this healing message. And don't worry about the pictures here. You're going to be going down to the description and find the general description of the person who comes through on each of one of these down there with the timestamps. All right, so don't make sure that you do not forget to give this a thumbs up because I'm sure there's people who want to hear from their loved ones. All right, so let me get the timestamp here. All right, so this is number one love messages from your deceased romantic person. We're gonna do this in the style that I usually do it in. Laying the cards out and going from there. See if we can move these up and two of these three of them <clears throat> excuse me are going to be out of frame here so let's see let's move these ones up because i don't know about y'all but i love the pictures let's see i know i'm being persnickety <clears throat> Who knows, your person might have been persnickety. All right, so let's get started. Now, when I'm quiet, it means that I am tuning in to the person who is in front of me here. So I'm getting a male energy. They're, they're holding flowers and they have a white shirt on with like a red tie with stripes on it. And they're very nervous and they're kind of I'm giving and getting the feeling of sweating. Let me make sure I write this down. Otherwise, I'm going to forget because when I go on to the other one, I forget. All right. He's very excited to be here. He wants you to know that he is very excited. He's very, very excited. He's almost like he's putting his hand out and his hand is shaking. So that might be a specific message for you to kind of confirm, you know, that your energy is coming, your person's energy is coming through. This is a general read. So if you want a private reading, Check out the description box. Fertility. It is time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. It's got Easter eggs and a bunny. Two bunnies. What does that mean? What I'm hearing him say is, you guys spent special times during the Easter time together, and he's blushing, and he's saying <laughs> that the two of you were very fertile. Something about five kids. And he said, umpteen amount of grandkids. He says he misses your physical touch every day. And he's also going back to this saying, this is a message for you, saying that you need to start new things. You need to give birth to new conditions that you've kind of um, become complacent. And that you're his empress. You know, and even here, there's the empress with a child here, if I can get it to stop. 
take t- um, time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Yeah, so, you know, as far as the fertility, you guys were definitely very, very fertile couple. And you loved your job as the wife, the mother. He's saying he's saying here um, that you, as far as like the life of luxury, he's saying that you're kind of using your money, or your guys' money as... Okay, he's saying you're not using it. That you're not using it. And he says he understands that you want to leave the kids money. He understands that. But he also doesn't want you to live in the word that he's using as squalor. So make sure that you give yourself some luxuries. There's a card that you can't see, but it's gratitude and appreciation. He says he absolutely adored the life that you guys shared together. To watch the joy in children's faces. There's so many children here. Yeah, he's, you know, especially with this child, it's like seeing the sunshine shine off their faces. And you guys particularly loved that. And he's talking about a road trip that you guys made. Um, He's showing me like a vast expanse, like there's nothing there. Maybe like Nebraska or you like something with, you know, nothing going on. Empty, empty fields. And that you guys had rolled down the window and you were singing. He says he still gets lost in the ocean that is you. And he says there's there's going to be a time when we'll be together again. Responsibility. And the meerkats are very much into family, being a family unit. He said that you took on your responsibilities where well. And he says you performed your duties well. <laughs> He's saying that he has become one of your guides. And that you cry to him in your sleep. And I can feel his heart kind of, the energy of his heart kind of clench up because it hurts him. And that's why he's reiterating that, that you guys will be together again. Oh my God, I did not even notice that. This, what? Wowzers. The, the Empress and the Emperor. What the freak? You know, I mean, you know I'm about to swear. Wow. That is amazing. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like, oh, this is the King of Kings. The queen of queens in the tarot. It's like you guys exemplify, and you know, if your kids are going to be listening to this too, it's like this is what you were to them. This is what you were to each other. Wow. <laughs> Divine couple. <sighs> Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. Mm-hmm. This is so cool. I didn't know the deceased loved ones love edition was going to be so freaking amazeballs. Anyway, sorry. Let's see. Where do you want me to go? Okay. So here is Saraswati. Saras- Saraswati. The arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So there's a lot here where I feel that since you are an older female... Or an older person, right? Because there's energy that could be um, vice versa. This is not a gender specific, but because I want this to be open to anyone. And so does spirit, you know, like 
for people who have those judgments, you know, why are we bringing this up? Oh, because he's like, we have a gay son. So there you go. That you're, you've kind of shut down your, your empress energy because you're not having to take care of anything and you're not having to take care of him. But he's still saying you need to take care of yourself in a new artistic way. Express yourself in ways that you didn't allow yourself. And if you're going, oh, I'm too old. No, you're never too old. Even if you're meditating and experiencing other worlds or experiencing being with him, it's a, it's a form of creativity. Like anything that you do that is different from what you've done in the past, I consider to be creativity. And here this one says, no one lights me up and inspires me like you do. <laughs> and I feel like both of you mutually agree upon that. And here was the picture. And this is how he sees you. Is this beautiful goddess, this beautiful empress. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if, if you want it to be. So I'm definitely feeling like he's come through because you're feeling blocked. Oh, dang. And then here we go. <laughs> building blocks. So letting those building blocks go. And those blocks to your creativity. And he says he understands that you're in a fork in the road. You're towards the end of a journey. But look how exciting this journey looks. You know, you've got this llama that looks like a deer that's got the, the owl there with a fork showing different directions and then this silly little weird looking monkey. And he's got something in his hand, but I cannot quite figure out what it is. So, I mean, if, and if that isn't creative, it's like using your creativity. Unblock it. Use your creativity. Okay. So he's saying that when the time comes, he'll be there for you as well as others. To not fear, to stop the fear. He's like, stop not living. Even if it's a, a phone call to a friend, or even if it's a phone call to grandchildren, you know, express your joy, express your laughter. You know, express the gratitude and appreciation that you've had and that you continue to have. Any other messages? He says he, he loves you dearly, but you already know that. This to me is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. And a love reading across from each other. Whew. I'm already jazzed about it, and I hope you are too. Now, if you are one of the children or grandchildren, of this couple, please make sure that it gets to them if it hasn't already. All right. And he gives you the flowers. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like a private reading, you can find the information down below and make sure that you like this so it gets spread to other people who need to hear this healing message. Because there's a lot of people during this particular time of the year that um, this is being recorded that need to hear that. Thank you. We're going to move on to number two. All right, you guys. The first one was amazing. So let's carry on with the amazing. Oh, wow. Yep, we're already carrying on with the amazing. We got the Twin Flames card here. If you're unfamiliar with what Twin Flames means, it is a general term where it's um, two souls that have, you know, split apart to experience more expansively what love truly is and whether one is in the physical or non-physical. Let's see now. I don't know how to get all of these in, but we're going to try. Maybe that will be helpful. All right, 
So bring the second person in, please. Okay, this is a female energy. And I'm just writing it down for the timestamps, if you're wondering. Honey, tell me more about you. She said, first off, don't call me honey. Alrighty then. Um, go ahead. She said she's she was a mother, a lover, and a fighter. <laughs> All right. Hmm. She's got a little bit of anger energy. Why do you have anger energy? What's going on? She said she's angry that she's not here. And that she's mirror because she's a twin flame. She she's mirroring you. You're angry that she's not here. I feel like you're a little overwhelmed by um, the responsibility of being a father without a wife. I feel that she passed through cancer. She's, oh, she's a well. She's also showing me, she's kind of rubbing her chest. Yeah, she's rubbing her chest. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> these these readings have been like rocking my world here because I've never done readings like this before. So look at this. It says twin flames, right? It says, I know that the fire that burns in you, it's the same that burns in me. What? Twin flames, what? And then I know you are my other half. <laughs> wow, these... These readings, I don't know about y'all, but I've been blown. So she wanted to bring that home. Like there's no zero doubt that you guys were, you guys are twin flames. She said that you, you put her on a pedestal because of her being your other half. that she was the high priestess. She had a lot of, um, she's very nonchalant. She um, knew that she was very spiritually powerful and she was the one that helped to bring you into the fold as far as remembering. She's saying here that she wants you to go the distance. That you know that she loves you more than life itself. And she laughs because she's like, huh, I'm not in I'm not in the physical right now. But she's putting a little funny in there. She said that you talked to her, you know, your guys' mutual friends about um, how she ascended. And she says, I did. She said that it was you know, on the surface, very inopportune time for me to leave. But she's saying that she wants you to understand that this was, this was how it was meant to be. This was how that you guys had agreed that it would happen. And it was more her agreements, her con, her contractual agreements that she needed to be on the other side to fulfill this part of her mission. Hence being the high priestess. And she's showing me three kids. And she's showing, she's showing me the middle child. And she's saying the middle child is the one that's having some issues. And she's, and she's saying she wants you to get the grandparents involved, the grandmother specifically. And why is that, honey? Oops, sorry, not honey. The child, the child needs um, that female touch. Not that you are not enough. And then she's bringing me into um, she's bringing me in and there's a couple here that are going to it. It says you have nothing to feel guilty about. And she wants to talk to you about 
um, the fact that even though she is not in the physical and, and though you guys communicate heavily and are together in energy and during sleep time, that she doesn't want you to feel guilty about wanting to have connection with other people. She said there, she is an active, she is taking an active role in helping you find someone to satisfy you in this life, a soulmate to help you out, a soulmate to be there for you, to love you. Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So she's kind of, you know, coming through with this Artemis energy. She wants you to let go of that guilt and to know that you're protected. Release. Let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. And I feel like there's been um, someone at work or someone who has been interested in you. But, you know, you guys both might not be ready, you know, as far as this person on the physical. But there's there's someone who's interested in you but know, knows that this is not the right time. So just know that she doesn't want you to feel guilty about having feelings towards other people. Because Twin Flames is like the ultimate that we understand here on Earth currently. That's our current understanding. But you can still have love. Work, Beaver. And she's saying that you are really diving into your work as a way of escape. And that's where she's saying that this other person, this other woman is interested in you. And she's like, take it as flattery and don't worry about the rest. Stop feeling guilty. Five of Summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Focusing on that which frightens or worries you. Yeah, trust that it, there is a reason for everything that has happened. And I know that that's hard. Potential gateway. What is this about? Okay. So she's saying that when you, and she says she knows this is hard. It's a challenge. She wants me to change the word to challenge. But when you start to let go of the guilt, release, and trust. So remember this. Letting go of guilt, releasing, and trusting that there was a reason for this. There's a potential gateway that will open for you. You will be able to experience her on more, on a more frequent basis when you clear these three things that I have talked about. Letting go of guilt, release, and trusting. And she wants you to be open with the person that you end up being with about the situation. A soulmate, a true soulmate is going to understand because a true soulmate is going to have their own twin flame as well, right? As a current understanding that we understand it. Now, what else would you like to express? Yeah, she really wants to emphasize that she wants you to release. She wants you to release and let go of the past because she's right here with you right now. She's right here with you always. Because remember, it says twin flames, your passion ignites. Know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns in me. I know that you are my other half. Yeah, and I'm really feeling like chest tightness. Something to do with breathing. All right, she says that she um, is so thankful that we had this time. Make sure you give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other people who need to hear this healing message. If this wasn't exactly your message, go ahead and um, see about getting a private read from me. I have done plenty of twin flames that have been passed over to you know sessions with the people who are here still in the physical. And just, they've all been amazing. 
for some reason spirits calling me to them or they're they're coming and finding me so all right thank you so much for joining me like i said give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we will go on to number three All right, so this is number three. We're just going to clear the energy from the last one. It was a little sad, or at least at the end, I felt a lot of sadness. These readings have been amazing. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe on this one because the last, there's just been signs that you are completely unmistakable in each of them. So let's get started on yours. Now, if this one doesn't completely resonate with you, do not fret. I also do personal readings. And for some reason, um, a lot of them have to do with, you know, deep soul connections. And spirit seems to send them to me and they've all been extremely satisfied so not that I need to sell myself but I feel this is a service that brings healing to people so anyway anywho peeps let's work it okay so bring a number three please This is a very vivacious female energy. Lots of talking, moving her hands. So this was a situation where they left before true love between the two of you was fully realized she said it was her time to go and that it was destined that the two of you were to meet and she's like truth be known you guys have met many times before hmm so this might be a little scandalous, but it says, I see all of your thoughts and that you do fantasize about them. Like the time that you were together or scenarios, you know, that are made up in your mind. And she's like, well, and you think they're made up in your mind, but jokes on you. They're actually not. It's a, it's a mutual experience. And they let you kind of run the show sometimes, if that makes sense reciprocity she said that there she wanted to give you more equal give and take but she couldn't and she's bringing especially about something about the bees maybe a comment that was made about the bees something about honey something you'll know what that means leave a comment down below if that was your message She's saying that you've kind of shut down a little bit on being spontaneous. You've, she says, you're growing up, you're maturing. That you did dream about her, um, you know, taking things to a more committed level. That's what I'm also hearing. Oh, see, and that's what I'm saying. Every single reading. So this one is the six of summer. 
children or childhood, the return of a person or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. Now, this is that soulmate, twin flame, you know, connection where you guys are like, oh my God, you know, laughing, joking. <laughs> She said she never said it, but she did love you. Or she does. And I hear that you said you felt the same way, that you never expressed it. Like you guys never really got a chance. And you you were kind of a respite to them. It says you are the answer to my whole life. She said, when you met, when she met you, it was like pieces of a puzzle fell together. And she is very excited and anxiously awaiting your next liaison. And she's not just talking about dream state or in imagination or during meditation. This is, um, you know, like the other part of you that is not in the physical is already making plans for a said future, you know, thinking linear, linearly, yeah, lean, in, anyway, in a timeline. <laughs> All right, she's pointing me to this one now. Intellectual, determined, focused, and impulsive. And then here is be spontaneous. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively sudden or unexpected changes. What is this about? Yeah, that you're experiencing some kind of unexpected change here um, that you did not foresee coming in your life. She's not only come here to express to you the deep interaction that the two of you still have together, but that she um, can be a guide to you to help you. She says she's not real interested <laughs> in physical problems, but, um, well, then why did you, did you offer or did I assume? She's like, I kind of, I kind of offered and you assumed. So yeah, she's not, she's not in life. She was not very grounded and she likes it like that. She was like, okay. So what she's saying is this be spontaneous and kind of like going off of your own intuition is going to help in this un expect change here. That's a very physical change. And she sees, she knows that you're, you're with someone else in the physical. Um, you might even be married with children, might. But that doesn't concern her. She's concerned about this twin flame soulmate connection that the two of you share together. This unbroken bond. And don't feel bad or guilty because everyone has that. They just don't really realize it. Okay, let's see. Last but not least, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And she was saying now that you are physically in you know, in your mind, physical mind, aware that this is actually going on rather than something that you dream about or that you fantasize about, but if you thought it was just kind of like in your own head, it's not. This is absolutely real, but there's no way to confirm that. So welcome to my world. <laughs> Any other messages that you would like to pass along to your person? It's interesting. She wanted to say the word, I love you, but then it morphed into energy where her energy, like streams of her energy are coming towards you and they are, they are engulfing you, surrounding you, hugging you, kissing you. And yeah. And she says, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you guys make sure this gets a thumbs up and pass around to others who need to hear this healing message. Um, and in the future, I will do this again when called to. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Medium of the Light Tarot.